Hello friends, welcome to our today's session on Apache Spark. In our today's video, we will see a real time scenario on Apache Spark. In this video, we will learn how to read a data from a BigQuery using Databricks as our platform and we will use PySpark as our programming language. If you are using Dataproc as your, as your platform, which is available in GCP, it is straightforward to read a data from BigQuery. You don't need to do anything. But when you are using Azure Databricks and you need to read a data from a BigQuery, then it is a bit challenging. You need to make some steps to make it possible. So that's what we are going to see today. I will show you how the BigQuery screen looks and what we need to do. I mean the setup that we need to do uh, to read the data using a Databricks platform. So that being said, let us get started with our today's demo. So I am into my Databricks Community Edition account. I have already started the cluster as well and also created the notebook for our today's demo. Let me walk you through each and every step and the configuration that is needed from GCP side in order to receive the data, I mean to collect the data from BigQuery using Databricks. So as a first step, uh, we need to generate the credential file uh, and a service account from the GCP and this account and the credential file will be used for us uh, here in Databricks to connect to the BigQuery and get the data. So let us move on to the GCP platform and see how we can do that. So this is my GCP platform that I have, Google Cloud platform. Uh, to have an account, uh, login into console.cloud.google.com and then uh, have to create a new project. Without any project, you can't uh, use any resources. So I have created a project called Learn to Spark. If you want to create any project, click on a new project. Go ahead, fill in the details and create the project. No need to fill in any organizations or anything. And also you should remember like you can only create 12 projects. I mean, uh, uh, totally you have only 12 projects in an organization that you can get created. So keep that in mind. And uh, I have already created a only one resource of BigQuery. So let me open you the BigQuery page. BigQuery is nothing but a data warehousing and the analytics tool which will provide us the editor tool as well and here you can uh, run the queries uh, for the data that you have and here you can see under uh, learn to spark project I don't have anything else uh, till now uh, we need to create a database and then the table and here in GCP the database name is renamed as a data set so I am creating a new data set create data set and I am naming it as demo spark. So under project, I am creating a data set or the database and I am not giving any data location. I don't have a GCP storage. If you have a GCP storage, I mean it is called as a bucket here. If you have those things, then that you can put it here. And uh, I am enabling the table expiration. I need only one day. Anyways, I am going to delete this account after uh, shooting this video, uh, but I wanted to maintain the expiration as well. So I am giving it as one day and then I am creating a database. So now we need a table. Here under this database, I need to create a table. For that, in inside our uh, BigQuery itself, we do have a public data sets. So I will import that public data set here. For that here under explorer you can see add data and here you can see explore public data set. If you are interested in learning BigQuery you can use, use this option to import the large amount of data that is available publicly and you can learn BigQuery. We are also going to do the same here. We are going to read the data from BigQuery using Databricks and we are taking the public data set. I am using uh, Google Analytics data that is already available in public. Google Analytics data is nothing but if you own a website, uh, you can go through this analytics and find the insights on how many pages has been viewed daily and then uh, which location uh, gives you the more count of uh, views. So those informations will be available there. So I am clicking on that. So you can see once I give view data. Uh, it has opened a new session and also this is the data uh, from the public data set and it has also provided the table schema for us 
for our uh, reference if you need particular uh, schema alone you can directly go ahead and edit it but i need to copy this a publicly available uh, table into my workspace under uh, demo spark so for that i am giving on a copy and then the source you can see like project name data set table name and uh, the destination i am going to choose it as learn to spark which is nothing but my project name and then uh, demo spark is my database or data set name and then i am directly creating a table ga session i am i am giving the same table name let me give copy so now you can see in the left side i have created a table here so from this table you can directly give a select query you can directly fire a select query to get the insights of this data set uh, but we are uh, going to read it from bigquery so i am not doing anything on this platform if you are interested you can go ahead and try it and to read it from databricks again we need to create a service account and a credential file which is a main thing till now we have prepared only the data set and for that we need to go to the navigation menu under that you can find something like iam and admin and inside that go on and select the service account so here click create a new service account and let me give some name here also i will give learn spark i will just give learn spark as my service name and in description i will give it as read big query this is not mandatory but uh, i am just giving for our reference and this is the main thing that comes into picture we need to add a role we need to add a appropriate role for each and every service account that we need so here inside this type in big query and uh, we need a data editor role and then we also need one more role which is nothing but big query viewer role and again one more role we need is nothing but we need to create a session from databricks so for that we need big query read session access big query read so read session user so these are all the three things uh, you can you have to add it definitely so please make a note of this without these uh, roles uh, we can't access the information that is available from the outside bigquery so let me click on continue and let me create the service account it is updating the policy and let me click on done button and now you can see i have created a service account and uh, there is no key generated yet and we need the key file so for that let me click on this again and uh, you can go ahead and see the details of the account information and then uh, again in the tab you can see the key tab you can click on that and here you have you need to add a key so add key create a new key and i need it as a json file so let me create it and uh, you can see that the message is displayed with this account json file your cloud resource is exposed outside so store it securely make sure you store this json file securely so it is already downloaded let me upload this json file into the databricks environment and uh, let us uh, query the data set that we created just now so move on to the databricks let me go through data and dbfs file store under file store i will upload the information here so let me click on and upload the json file that we just downloaded it starts with e so we uploaded the json file uh, this json file it is nothing but it will contain the credential informations i will show you in a uh, few minutes so let me go back to the notebook again uh, we generated the credential file from jcp console 
and then we uploaded it into a DBFS and then uh, we also created IAM and the admin rules also the data set also is ready now as a next step we need to copy this file from the DBFS file path into the temporary location why we are doing this is like since we are using a community edition account uh, we need we, we need to have the file in the temporary location credential file in the temporary location for this to be accessed but if you are using the Azure uh, Databricks uh, you have an option to store it directly in a DBFS and use it from there itself so if you are using Azure Databricks then it is easy but since I am using community edition I have to do this one step so let me copy the path and then uh, let me copy the path here close and uh, let me go back there and paste it here let us run this so it completed and also let me show you guys what the json file looks like or what are the information that is available inside json file for that I am using fs head command let me run this as I had already told you like here you can see the type is service account and project id is linked to spark and I have some credential information like private key id and the key information and then uh, what is a service account mail id those informations I have so keep it securely and uh, next comes the variable declaration here since I have already copied the path from dbfs into the local path I am giving the local path as a credential file path and then as we know project name is learn to spark and table name we have to give it like database name dot table name for that let me again move on to the databricks I mean uh, bigquery environment let me close this and here let me open the bigquery So under uh, project, under uh, database, I will have a table name. Let me open this and let me click on query. And here you can find, will find the table name. It is, I, I need it from database alone, data set alone. So let me copy it from there and let me paste it here under table. So here we are declaring three variables. One is for the credential file path, project name and the table name and uh, now comes the final step it is nothing but a general syntax to read the uh, file I mean uh, here uh, instead of CHP file or parked file the file is nothing but a bigquery so we are giving it as park.read.format and inside that we are giving it as a bigquery and we need to set some, some options so uh, option 1 will be a credential file and another options are parent project and the table name I am providing it from the variable that we have already given and I am giving load command so let me run this uh, it went through so this is the same syntax for Scala as well there is not much change with between uh, PySpark or Scala uh, this will be this will remain the same syntax whereas in Scala we will just give val command that's it so that is the only change and uh, in display let me display the output So now here you can see the Spark job is running. Uh, it hits the API of the BigQuery and collects the data for us. So here you can see some information related to the analytics data of uh, the page. Hits page views, uh, traffic sources, devices, those informations. So this is how we will read uh, data from a BigQuery into our Databricks environment. So hope you guys understood this concept on how to read the data. Uh, try this in your own machine and let me know if you face any issues. I am happy to help you guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up signal if you really like my content. Thank you.